I think maybe the person who answered that question best about what it takes to be a breakaway CEO today was Vern Harnish, the Gazelles guy, because he talked about focusing on people, focusing on innovation, focusing on cash, and knowing what you can do and what you can't do, and being willing to take some risks, but not risks that necessarily are risky risks, but to go out there and do something new. And we also heard from a panelist this morning that said, trust your gut, use data and trust your gut. And I think those are a few important tips. I received two great pieces of leadership advice, both from the same person. And the first one was partners are for dancing. And that has to do with what kind of partnerships you do within your business. He was talking specifically about company ownership. And then the second was, he once said, you know when the right time to let somebody go and find their passion elsewhere is? And I said, no, what is that? And he said, the first time the thought crosses your mind that you might need to. To me, innovation means, in our case, incremental. We started as a printing company. That industry is 400 years old and in continuous operation, and it has innovated continuously the way it's done now is very different than the way it was done even 10 years ago. Technology has been deeply injected into the printing industry and now innovation in our case means innovating with integrations via APIs with for instance Marketo, Oracle Eloqua and Salesforce so that we can use the rich behavioral data that are resident within those marketing automation systems to inform your most high impact touch which is a piece of print, direct mail, a FedEx box.